Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Network for PyTorch at Washington University. In this part, we're going to take a look at how to use pandas to group information. This is important for certain types of tabular data that you may need to process in PyTorch. We're going to open up the notebook here. This is in the link in the description below. I am going to go ahead and open this in Colab just in case we need to actually run anything. We're going to start by loading the auto MPG dataset, and we're going to see how to shuffle it. It's a pretty simple operation that we're going to do. We are going to re-index it with a permutation. So it's just going to basically take the rows and permute them. We are getting a second data frame back. We can also do this in place, and then we don't have to have a second data frame. Just a matter of preference there. Now, an important aspect of doing it that way is notice the index numbers here. This can be good. This can be not necessarily bad, but annoying. I find it usually annoying. It does give you traceability back to what the original index of each of these rows are, but it looks, it looks odd to me seeing these ragged index numbers here. You can also change it so that you reset the index in place uh, and you drop the old one to true, and this gives you now a nice index that is in order. You might also want to sort the data set. This can be good sometimes when you need to iterate through the data and you want it in a specific order. What we're going to do here is df.sort values. Again, I am getting a second data frame back. We're sorting it by name. You can also pass in an array, and then you can sort by multiple columns. Ascending is true, depending on which order that you want. And then we get the first car location, and we use iloc just to get the very first car that is there. So we sorted it by the name. So naturally, we have A cars first, and the first car is the AMC Ambassador. Again, notice the indexes are still there from before the sort, so you can also use the reset index to set that back to sequential. Sometimes you'll want to do a group by, like you do in SQL. This is where, say you had a bunch of employees of the university, but by, and another column said the department, group by could group them all by department. And then you could find out who, I don't know, the highest paid employee in each department is. So here we are getting the auto MPG, and I'm simply displaying it. We are going to group by the cylinders, and then we're going to take the miles per gallon and get a mean. So this is showing us the average miles per gallon for each of the cylinder types. So three, four, five, six, eight cylinders in the car. These odd cylinder cars are, are strange to me, like a five-cylinder car or a three-cylinder car. But nonetheless, they clearly made them. You can see a bit of a progression as the engines get bigger. Typically, they get less fuel efficient. The three-cylinder car is a little bit of an outlier there, but there were probably so few of them that maybe the technology was not there. I have not heard of many three-cylinder cars. They probably, ex they obviously existed. You can also convert this to a dictionary, which can be quite convenient, because now you've got this nice lookup table. You can look up and say, okay, five was this, and programmatically. So if you want to know the average for a six-cylinder car, you just do D indexed by six. You can do other aggregations as well. We did the the mean, you can also do a count. This will tell you how many cars there are of each. So the three-cylinder one that I'm complaining about, there's only four cars of three-cylinder type. Five, there's even less. That seems like an odd configuration to me. Four, there's quite a few, 204. Four-cylinder cars are, even in the 1970s, when this data set was from, were the most common. Thank you for watching this video, and if you're interested in continuing with this course, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell so that you're notified for each video that I release. And if this video was useful to you, please smash the like button.